Hello, this is Suraj Ramesh, Product Manager for OCI Full Stack Disaster Recovery Service. In this video, we will demonstrate how to integrate Oracle Excel Database Service running on Oracle Database Azure with OCI Full Stack Disaster. To begin, let's briefly review the offerings of these services. Oracle Database Azure is a service that enables Oracle Database to operate directly on Microsoft Azure infrastructure. The service includes Oracle Autonomous Database and Oracle X Database Service, which are fully managed and hosted on Oracle infrastructure while being integrated with Azure. Users can access Oracle's high-performance database within their Azure environment, leveraging the strengths of both platforms. OCI Full Stack DI facilitates the seamless transition of compute, database, applications between OCI regions globally with a single click. The service allows customers to automate the recovery process for one or more business system without the need to redesign or re-architect existing infrastructure, databases or application and without requiring special management or conversion services. As part of the architecture diagram, we have deployed Oracle Excel database service in Azure with cross-region data card. So there are two regions. The primary region is Canada Central, Toronto and the DR region is Australia East, Sydney. As you can see here, we have Oracle Excel database service deployed in both regions with Oracle Data Guard enabled for the database running in the VM clusters. I've logged into the Azure portal. So this is the Oracle database at Azure offering. So we have services available for Oracle Excel database service and then Oracle Autonomous database service. So in this demo, we are going to see how we can integrate the Oracle Excel database service with full stack DR. So we have two VM clusters. So the VM cluster running in Canada region, this is our primary VM cluster. And the VM cluster running in Australia is our DR VM cluster. So these are the VM cluster I've clicked it. So this is the Canada Central VM cluster. And this is the Australia East VM cluster. So if you click go to OCI icon, you will be logged into the OCI console. So I've opened both Canada and then the Australia region OCA console. So this is the VM cluster. If we can come down in the database section, we can see a couple of database here. For this demo, I'm going to use the DB5. So this is my primary database running in Canada East, Toronto region. And this is my standby VM cluster running in Sydney region. My database is a standby database. Let's create the full stack DIA production groups. I'm in the Canada region, navigate to migration and disaster recovery, click DR protection groups, select create DR protection group, provide a name, select the compartment, you need to provide an object storage bucket to store the logs. If it is not there, you should create it and then hit create. Similarly, we can create the DR protection group in Sydney region, navigate to migration and disaster recovery. Create DR protection group, give a name, and hit create. So both the protection groups are in active state. So we can associate the roles. So come to the Toronto region, click associate, select the role, primary, Australia, Sydney is the peer region, and select the DR peer protection group, and click associate. Roles are associated. You can see the role of the Toronto production group is primary. The Sydney production group is standby. Now we can add the database member. Come to the members section. Click add member. Resource type as database. Select the database type as Oracle Exadata on Oracle Public Cloud. This is the mapping for the Oracle database at Azure. Select the VM cluster. Select the database. You have to create a secret for the syspassword that is a prerequisite. I've already created it and click add. The member in the primary Toronto DR production group is added. Let's add the standby database in the Sydney DR production group. Navigate to the members section. Click add member. Resource type as database. Select the database type as Oracle x data on Oracle Public Cloud. VM cluster, database, the password, and click add. The standby database member is added. 
Now it's time to create the DR plans. Full stack DR allows to create a plan only from the standby DR production group region. Go to the plan section, click create plan, provide a name, plan type as switch over and hit create. While this is creating, we can also create the failover plan. Provide a name. Select the plan type as failover. Hit create. Both plans are created. Let's click the switch over plan. We can see the built-in pre-checks has been created along with the database switch over plan group. Similarly, for the failover plan, we can see the built-in pre-checks and the database failover plan group. Let's go ahead and execute pre-checks for the switch over plan. Select plan type, select switch over, and click run pre-checks. The pre-checks are completed successfully. So the plans currently only have the database related thing. This plan be customized to call out the user-defined plan groups in the scripts in case if the additional components needs to be orchestrated as part of the overall plan which lies in the Azure region. So at this moment, let's go ahead and execute the plan for the switchover of the database. Click Execute Plan and Execute Plan. So the plan execution has been completed successfully. So once the plans are completed successfully, the full stack DR will automatically reverse the change of the production group role. So the Sydney becomes primary, the Toronto becomes standby. This allows to create the plan now in the standby region, which is Toronto, to do the switchback or failback from Sydney region to Toronto region. Thank you for watching this video.